Hey guys, Techno here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna share with you guys a couple of troubleshooting tips if you're having issues hearing sound on your iPhone. So if you can't hear someone on a call or they can't hear you, hopefully these troubleshooting steps that we show you guys will help resolve that issue. Again, these are gonna be some of the issues that are gonna be related with the software issue. So if it's a software bug, glitch, or any sort of issues, these troubleshooting steps will hopefully help you resolve that problem and some of to the degree some of the minor hardware issues as well so first thing first if you're having issues hearing on your call it's very important to go ahead and check the volume again it might be sounding really common but sometimes the volume tends to uh, go down by accident if you had it in your pocket or if you accidentally clicked on button so the volume up and down button here on the iPhone 12 here on the newer iPhones that you have it's gonna be on the side you want to press and hold this until you see all the way up there. Now that means your volume all the way is turned off. While you're at it, make sure that silent button is also turned on. So just to make sure that it's not uh, interfering with your volume button, make sure that is on and give it a test. Now, if that didn't resolve your issue, now it's time to move on to the next trip, which is gonna be just simply restarting your iPhone again. When your phone is on for a really long time, it's time to just give it a reboot and give it a fresh start. And to do that on a newer iPhone, you're going to hold the big side button on the right-hand side and the volume up button at the same time on the left-hand side. So when you hold these two buttons at the same time, you're going to get this menu pop-up which says slide to power off, simply slide it over, and then give it about a minute. And once it's been a minute, you want to hold this big side button on the right-hand side and that will power the phone back on again. That's a simple restart. If for some reason your buttons weren't working, you can always go into settings and once you go into settings you can go to general and then at the bottom here you're going to see that option for shutdown you can use that method as well and that will kick off a shutdown wait about a minute and then use the power or the side button here to power it back on and if for some reason your side button isn't working you could always plug it in to a charger that will automatically also turn on the phone those are going to be the simple troubleshooting steps that you can take now for a little bit more advanced setting the next thing you want to do if you're still having issue is going to be simply going to be turning off your Bluetooth. So Bluetooth sometimes can connect to devices that you might be unaware of and transferring that audio over there and it's interfering with your audio. So to turn off Bluetooth, you're going to pull down the control menu. Once you pull down the control menu, you're going to get this menu here. You're going to press and hold this and you'll see the Bluetooth is on again. You want to press and hold. The Bluetooth is on. You want to turn that off and click on that and it should be grayed out. Now that's good to go. Now the other thing you want to check also along with it is to make sure the Bluetooth is completely turned off. You want to go into settings here, make sure you connect it over here to Bluetooth. Now you want to make sure this is off as well. So turn it off and that will completely make sure your Bluetooth is disabled as you can see now. The other one turns it off. This this going into settings will disable it and now give it a shot and hopefully that resolves the issue. Now if that didn't resolve your issue, now it's time to move on to the next troubleshooting step which is going to be turning off noise cancellation. To do that you're going to go into settings and go to accessibility and this time accessibility you want to go to audio visual and the audio visual section you'll see noise cancellation is turned on by default. Go ahead and turn it off and give it a shot see if your noise Cancellation, turning it off helps that device on. On the newer iPhone 13, you will not be able to see it. So if you have iPhone 13 on iOS 15 current version, there's an issue where noise cancellation isn't there, but any other device does have noise cancellation. So play, turn it off, see if it works, and then if it works, go ahead, turn it back on, and kind of give it to see if that is the issue that you have. Now, moving on to the next step of troubleshooting it's going to be a little bit more further more advanced in terms of resetting your network setting on your device so this is going to reset all of your connections to any wi-fi you ever connected any sort of network settings you have. again this is more more advanced and this does wipe out all of the previous exec existing network settings that you have so all the wi-fi connections and such but this is something necessary to do if you're having again the audio issue or not being able to hear someone on the call. So you're going to go into settings again. This time you're going to go to general and general you're going to scroll all the way bottom. Now this time where it says transfer or reset phone you want to click on that and this time you'll see this menu pop up. Now it's really important to just take a step back and just kind of focus on this menu here. You don't want to click on the one that says erase. You want to do the first option. So go with the reset and then the reset it will pop up a menu like this. Now the one that we want to do is network reset 
set. And this will pretty much, as we mentioned, will delete all of your network settings, returning it to factory default. So like any sort of Wi-Fi connection you had, you have to reconnect again and any sort of VPN or things like that you have set up will be gone. So that's fine. We want to reset that and you'll see that Apple logo come up, wait for it to just completely finish. Again, this process takes about maybe 15, 20 seconds at most and we'll back go back to the home screen and now give it a check again one more time after it does that to see if your call is fixed again this is more advanced but sometimes it is necessary to do that and it resolves any sort of connectivity issue that you might have again you'll see the apple logo up here that's good just gonna have to wait again like we said 20 30 minutes at most even a minute or so depending on how fast your phone is and as you can see now we're back to the home screen here now give it a shot for your screen to see if that is working now next thing you want to do with your iphone is if that isn't working it's going to be what's known as a force restart now force restart for most phones are going to be same so if you have an iphone 8 iphone se or iphone 10 or any other the newer device it's going to be volume up volume down and then hold that side button Till you see the Apple logo. So you want to quickly uh, press and release the volume up button, then the volume down button, and then hold the side button. And now when you see that side button, do not power slide it. Just simply wait till you get to see that screen here. Now keep on holding till you see the Apple logo appear. Again, once the Apple logo appears, let go of this button. And this method that we showed, it's going to be on iPhone 8 and above. Now, if you have an iPhone 7, what you're going to do is you're going to simply hold that uh, volume down button and that sleep or the side button that you'll have on this phone at the same time until you see the Apple logo appear and then release the phone. So that's going to be for iPhone 7. And if you have an iPhone 6S or older phone, you're going to, with the home button, you're going to hold the home button and that power button, which is going to be either on the side or on the top at the same time until you see the Apple logo. So that's going to be slightly different for each of the model phones. For the method we showed are going to be for the newer phones. Now, the next thing, if you're still having issues, it's going to be simply to update your phone. Again, over time, when Apple releases software update, it could potentially mess up your existing software that you have in your phone. It's time to kind of make sure that you have the latest version, and if any new bugs or release uh, that was came out, will resolve that issue. Now, you're going to go into settings this time, go to general, software update, and take a look for to see your update. So if you're not connected to internet, make sure you're connected to internet when we did set up uh, the Wi-Fi reset it's gonna make sure that you want to connect it so we're gonna go ahead and connect to our Wi-Fi here again we're connecting to the Wi-Fi here this is why we weren't able to see any of that but once you're connected go to general this time software update and make sure you see it's going to spin as you can see there's a new update that's been released most likely could fix the issue we want to go ahead and download that just to make sure our phone is up to date with the latest version of the software and if you have done that and it still isn't working now it's time for probably more effort in terms of troubleshooting and it's going to be doing what's going to be known as backing up your phone and restoring now this is the most kind of advanced one that you'll do and again this is kind of the last step of software troubleshooting you're going to connect your phone either to iTunes to back it up or use iCloud backup or however you want to back it up. Once you backed up your device, again, make sure you are fully backed up because you want you don't want to reset because the next step you're going to do is pretty much reset the phone and you won't be able to get your data back if you don't back it up because the, this method requires you back up the, uh, to somewhere iCloud, iTunes, and then factory reset the phone so everything is completely gone, all the default settings, and then restore from the backup. Again, this, this is going to be similar to how we mentioned in other videos, so make sure you guys know that if you're going to do this step, back it up. Once you back it up, you're going to go to, after that, you're going to go to general, and then here where it says, again, transfer reset, you want to do this option where it erases all of your content. You're going to get this menu where it's going to say, do you want to do that? You want to hit continue, and then continue, and then it will do that for you. Again, make sure you're backed up before you do this. You don't want to lose of your data. That's really important. And if none of these steps that we mentioned so far have worked, it's going to be unfortunately bad news for you because 
it is going to be more of a hardware issue which in that case you'll need someone to actually open up the phone and take a look at the hardware of it like a certified apple technician or any repair shop that does it because it is a hardware issue and that could be the reason why your speaker or the earpiece up top isn't working and that happens generally if it falls or water or some liquid got into it or over time somehow it just gets moved again that's going to be the last thing is actually getting it, someone to take a look at it inside the hardware of the phone so hopefully these steps that we mentioned and troubleshooting step that we showed you guys help you fix your issue and if this video is helpful or if you found another way solution that worked for you leave a comment in the comment section and make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time